In this class, you will learn how to use time intelligence in Looker Studio. You will also learn how to use breakdown dimensions and optional metrics. For this example, we'll add a new page. We'll call this page Optional Dimensions. Done. First, let's see how time intelligence works. First, let's add a date range control. Done. Next, let's add a time series chart. To use time intelligence in Looker Studio, there's something very important we need to understand. To explain this concept, I'll use a table chart. So let's add one to the report. We'll leave it here. We'll select a period. In this case, let's choose last month. Perfect. Let's sort by date in ascending order. Perfect. What do these data need to make use of time intelligence? When we talk about time intelligence, a date must be defined in the correct format. I've left a reading on the correct date formats in the class resources. If we go here, we'll see that the defined format is in the date and time data type. It's important to keep this in mind. If you want to manipulate the data, if you want filters, especially period filters, to work, and for all charts related to dates to display correctly, they must be in an appropriate date format. Once this is set, you can apply different uses of time intelligence, such as, let's see here. What would happen if I want to see this chart by year? First, I'll select the period this year in the date range control. And I don't want this chart to show by day. Currently, it's displayed by day. I want to change it to another format. When working with a data set or data source, you'll often find that this dimension appears broken down. For example, here we have it broken down by year, year, and month, day and day of the week. If I select here, I can see information for each of the different months of the year. This is how we start manipulating our charts, as long as there's a date dimension included. But what happens when we don't have this dimension included? Let's reselect the dimension as date. When we don't have such a detailed dimension, but it's in the correct date format, Looker Studio allows us to drill down without having to add any other dimension. How do we do this? We enable the drill down option here, and you'll see different date formats appear. Let's remove the year and date, leaving only year month. Now we can see the date by the different months. That's why it's so important for our database or dataset to always be in an appropriate date format. Now, let's learn more about breakdown dimensions. In this case, we'll leave our original dimension, which was date. We'll set last month in the date range control. Let's see something important. Suppose I want to view the date or rather have the chart configured with the date and the views metric, just as it is now. But I want it to break down by another dimension. To do this breakdown, make sure to enable drill down and in the breakdown dimension, add the other dimension you want to break down the chart by. In this case, we'll use the gender dimension. This way, in our time series chart, we can see the breakdown, not only as a total views metric, but with another dimension. Let's try with another dimension. Age. As you can see, the chart adapts to the age ranges, and now, instead of showing gender, we see our age ranges over time on a chart. You can apply this to multiple charts. I encourage you to try it and experiment. Let's move on to another feature in Looker Studio, optional metrics. We'll set this page to be taller. Let's make it double, in this case, 1800 pixels in height. Let's add a series of charts and I'll add a pie chart.
I'll also add a scorecard. For now, I'm not too concerned with which metrics and dimensions are displayed. We'll also add a bar chart with the device category dimension. and a geographic map chart. Done. Each of the charts is set with a particular metric. What happens if I want to see another metric on the same charts without adding a new one? Looker Studio has thought of this as well and offers a practical solution. In a single chart, we can integrate multiple metrics. Let's see how it's done. I select the chart and in the settings, I go to optional metrics where I can add more metrics. I'll add views, sessions, and new users. Perfect. What happens when we add this? When we enter view mode, it will allow us to choose any of the metrics we set up beforehand. Now I want to display another metric. Since I've already added optional metrics, I select the optional metrics option and can choose the metric I need. I'll switch to new users and we can see how the variations appear. This is a very useful feature that we'll use almost always in our reports. It allows us to save space and make presentations more fluid, avoiding crowding multiple charts in a single report. I encourage you to try this with other charts, applying this configuration to see how it works. See you in the next class.